In the Germany, I can say that it is a really valuable field and uh, you can see that every company are working on the hardware as well as the software, so everyone needs the embedded developer. Hello everyone, myself Sandeep Sorathia and I come from India and I did my bachelor degree in electrical engineering at the Gujarat Technical University. And then after I came back to Germany and I studied my master degree at the University of Rostock in the field of the electrical engineering. And then my majors are the high voltage, power electronics, AC machine and so on. During my study, I applied uh, for the internship in the several companies, but at that time, I got really good offer from the TDK Micronus GmbH in Freiburg, and this company working on the sensor and semiconductor areas. And during my internship, I work on the current sensor. And uh, in my internship, I did uh, programming in the MATLAB, and with the help of this program, we are controlling the totally hardware setup. In, in uh, our hardware setup, we are uh, including the thermostimer, Kisli and so on. During my internship, I work on the current sensor and we apply different temperature on the current sensor and the tech, the reading of the different parameter from the current sensor. During my internship, I mainly focus on the MATLAB and C programming. In my thesis, I work on the stress mapping chip. And uh, in my thesis, we are measuring the stress during the different manufacturing process. And uh, for the measurement of the stress, I use the MATLAB. In MATLAB, I created a graphical user interface and it helped to do automatic measurement from the stress mapping chip. And uh, it will also help to do the data evolution. I finished my master in the April 2020 and then after I got job from the Gekosop MBA in Ulm and uh, currently I am working as a hardware development engineer. In my company I am mainly working on the Arduino and the Raspberry. Uh, for the Arduino I am uh, using the TNC 3.2 and uh, for that I am using the C programming language and for the Raspberry I am using the C sharp programming. For the PCB designing, we are using the S-Print software. It looks like similar to the Altium designer. Our company working on the time management system and we are creating the time management device with the different RFID and as well as the fingerprint. And also we are creating the controller for that. First of all, I will recommend that we have to start from the zero. For the embedded side, we are using the controller for that. And uh, nowadays we are using the Arduino and the Raspberry and many and so on. And for the Arduino, we are using, we want to learn the C programming language. And for the uh, Raspberry also, we, we want to work on the Linux system as well as also we want to learn the programming language. And then after I am uh, also uh, recommended that you can uh, start the PCB designing uh, with the help of different software such as the Altium, Sprint, Eagle and so on. After learning the basic, I highly recommend it to apply on the practical field. First of all, uh, you want to create, uh, you want to start from the little work like the, you have to create little model and uh, with the help of Raspberry or uh, Arduino and so on and uh, you also want to work with the IoT because the nowadays you can see that the IoT is very on the demand and uh, it's uh, totally operating with the help of the controller and the programming I think for that uh, one or two, one month, one and one half month for the Arduino and uh, you want to also work on the Arduino for that time and then after it will take the two months for the Raspberry 
and then after uh, you can uh, try to learn the pcb designing try to learn the pcb designing on the different software like the altium uh, s print and so on so after finishing all thing it will take nearly five to six months and after completing that you will become maybe <laughs> a junior embedded developer In the Germany, I can say that it is the really valuable field and uh, you can see that every company are working on the hardware as well as the software so everyone needs the embedded developer so they are working on the both. So after uh, becoming the embedded developer in Germany, you will work as a embedded hardware engineer or a embedded software engineer or you can work as well as the embedded system engineer. So in Germany, the junior embedded developer can earn the in between the 45 to 55,000 uh, euro per annum and uh, it will depend on the skill. If you are the high skill and uh, so they will give you more salary and sometimes also it depends on the company. I highly recommend that they can start from the now. <laughs> Because you can see in the Germany, it's really good for the embedded. And so you can directly apply for the master or for the bachelor at the different German university. And after completing your studies, you will get really the good job and you will earn really high income. Okay, so thank you for watching me and don't forget to subscribe this channel.